My story is that I'm a scientist and a drug development professional, but I'm also a parent that one day heard the most terrifying words that any parents may hear. Your child has cancer. My daughter Laura was diagnosed with cancer at the age of three, and we were told from the beginning that the prognosis was really poor because there were not really many treatment options available for her. My youngest daughter, Chloe, was 15 when she was diagnosed with urine sarcoma. Chloe had been a totally healthy, beautiful young girl for many, for all her life, never been in hospital, just suddenly got a pain in her leg and within three months we had a terminal cancer diagnosis. 6,000 children and adolescents die of cancer every year in Europe alone, which makes cancer the major cause of death by disease for our children. And the problem is that there are not enough patients for this disease to make it profitable for companies to develop drugs specifically for children. Being 15, you think that everybody would do absolutely everything they possibly can to save a precious young person. Um, this wasn't the case at all. We were treated with drugs that were about 30 to 40 years old. Chloe went on, she was treated for three years. They didn't expect the treatment to work. Um, and there was no surprise when it didn't work. And she died just one month after her 18th birthday. Laura passed away roughly a year after diagnosis. And this was the time when I decided that I had to do something about this. I had to address the major problem here for children with cancer. Therefore, I decided to set up APOD, a non-profit organization with a mission to accelerate the development of drugs that are better and kinder to treat cancer in children. So I believe passionately in what APOD is trying to do. We're a, a actually kind of quite unique and very strong group of people together. And we're not just saying that, oh, isn't this awful, but we actually want to work on concrete solutions to make this situation better and getting those better kind of drugs for children. We decided to do something for medulloblastoma because uh, it's a very aggressive disease, it's a very aggressive brain cancer, for which we have, uh, at the moment, very few treatment options. Um, we definitely need to develop better kind of treatments for children with medulloblastoma. And this is an area where we can have an impact, we can play a role by partner with drug repurposing experts. Drug repurposing is essentially about uh, looking at drugs that are approved for use in a certain disease and see whether they may be used for another disease. So this is a, a very attractive and sort of smart way of addressing the problem because now we have a situation where we have drugs that are already approved, they are already in use, we know how they work, we know in some cases they have been used in children as well. And we could actually test whether these drugs that are already widely used medicine could be effective for children. So by doing this testing, we can identify potential new treatments much more quickly. And we decided to partner with Helix, which is a company based in Cambridge, with really two of the biggest drug repurposing experts worldwide. Basically what Helix will do is look at a genetic profile of the disease and try to match that profile with a profile of a certain drug. In this way, we really hope that we may predict the efficacy of certain drugs against medulloblastoma. That's exactly why we need to raise now £40,000 to cover the cost of this testing. We're really appealing to you to help us, to help other children, to stop families going through what, what I went through, what my family went through and what Cesare's family went through. You can help by just giving even just a small amount of money. Join our conversation, share all our information and get people talking about how we can really make a difference and save more children's lives. And together we can take the terror out of those terrible words, your child has cancer. Together we can save more children's lives.